results from primary day in the race for New York governor. The votes are in, and it looks like Governor Hochul will go toe to toe with Lee Zeldin in November. Let's take a closer look at the numbers on the Democratic side. With 66% of precincts reporting, Governor Kathy Hochul winning 68% of the vote. Jamani Williams is at 19%, Tom Swazi at 13%. For the Republicans, with 71% of precincts reporting, Lee Zeldin is the projected winner with 44% of the vote. Andrew Giuliani is at 23%, Rob Astorino at 18%. We are live with team coverage this morning. Elijah Westbrook will have more on the Republican primary in just a moment. But first, John Diaz live with a reaction to the Democratic primary. John? Chris and Mary, good morning to both of you. And Governor Kathy Hochul automatically became governor when she replaced Andrew Cuomo. But this time around, though, she got this far on her own. I stand on the shoulders of generations of women. Generations of women who constantly had a bang up against that glass ceiling. And Governor Kathy Hochul breaking that glass ceiling. To the women of New York, this one's for you. About an hour after the polls closed last night, Hochul made history, becoming the first woman to accept a party nomination at the top of the ticket running for governor. She talked about her determination to protect New Yorkers from U.S. Supreme Court decisions, including abortion rights that were overturned. New York State is a safe harbor for America's women. You come here. Hochul was also overjoyed for her running mate, Antonio Delgado, who won the primary for a lieutenant governor. This is the fight of our lives. It is a generational fight. New York politicians jumped on the bandwagon, including Mayor Eric Adams. This is our moment, Democrats. This is our opportunity, Democrats. Let's move our country and our city in the right direction. Let's win this fight in November. Bowing out gracefully were Hochul's former competitors, Congressman Tom Swazi. I congratulated her on a, uh, her hard work and her disciplined campaign and look forward to working together in the future uh, to try and help our state. And public advocate Jumani Williams. We have to. History is looking at us right now, saying don't make the same mistakes. The future is looking at us and saying, please don't forget about us. In this movement, we can do this together if we stand together. And when Governor Kathy Hochul spoke to reporters after her speech, she expressed a lot of optimism about the future of the Democratic Party here in the state of New York. We're live this morning from the east side. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you.